The winter Britain wasn't expecting. Recent winters have been mild and forgettable, but the global climate signals are shifting. The atmospheric engines that shape our weather are aligning in a way that could make January 2026 a month to remember. This isn't about hype. It's about understanding the science and the risks. Let's break down the evidence from the stratosphere to the Atlantic and see what might be coming. Are we on the verge of a winter that could redefine the season for a new generation? January is the heart of winter, a time when the days are at their shortest and the nights stretch on, bringing with them a deep, penetrating chill. It's the month when the UK is most vulnerable to severe cold as icy winds sweep across the land and frost clings stubbornly to every surface. By January, both land and sea have lost nearly all their warmth, setting the stage for nature's harshest displays, bitter winds, icy rain, and heavy snow. History shows that Britain's most memorable freezes, 1947, 1963, and 2010, struck hardest in January, leaving a lasting mark on communities and infrastructure. It's the month when cold can deepen, snow can linger for weeks, and the risks to travel, health, and daily life are at their highest. The UK sits uniquely between the cold Eurasian landmass and the milder Atlantic, making it a meteorological crossroads where weather can change rapidly and dramatically. This year, the atmospheric drivers are aligning for not just brief cold snaps, but potentially for a period of sustained, intense cold that could test the nation's resilience. The outcome depends on which force wins, Atlantic mildness or continental cold, each battling for dominance over the British Isles. As we approach January 2026, the evidence suggests a shift toward a colder, more disruptive pattern with increased chances of snow, ice, and prolonged freezing spells. The stakes are higher than they've been in years, making it crucial for everyone to prepare for what could be a truly challenging winter ahead. To understand what's coming this winter, we must look at the powerful global climate engines that shape our weather. These vast systems, operating high above our heads and across continents, set the stage for everything that unfolds at ground level. The polar vortex, a swirling mass of intensely cold air above the North Pole, is one of the most influential players. It acts like a giant atmospheric barrier, containing the coldest air on the planet. When the vortex is strong and stable, it keeps that frigid air locked away in the Arctic. But when it weakens, often due to sudden stratospheric warming events, it can split or stretch, sending waves of Arctic air plunging southward into Europe and beyond. This disruption ripples outward, affecting the jet stream, a fast-moving river of air that circles the globe. The jet stream can buckle dramatically, and high-pressure systems can form blocks, especially over the Atlantic. A blocking high over the North Atlantic or Scandinavia can lock the UK into a persistent cold pattern, cutting off milder Atlantic air and trapping cold air over the region for weeks. If this high-pressure block is positioned just right, it opens the door for frigid air to surge in from the Arctic or even Siberia, bringing the potential for severe cold snaps and heavy snowfall. The interplay between the polar vortex, the jet stream, and blocking highs are the true architects of Britain's most severe and memorable winters. Current long-range weather models are highlighting an increased risk of this exact sequence unfolding for January 2026, raising the stakes for a significant winter event. A disturbed polar vortex, a wildly meandering jet stream, and a stubborn persistent high-pressure block could all combine to set the stage for a historic cold spell across the UK. This combination of factors is rare, and it's exactly what meteorologists are watching closely right now, as it could bring a winter unlike any in recent memory. The risk of a memorably cold and snowy January is now higher than average, and the UK could be facing a winter that stands out in the record books. January 2026 is likely to begin with a sharp, early chill. High pressure near the UK will suppress Atlantic systems, leading to clear skies and widespread hard frosts. The ground will freeze and mornings will be crisp and silent across the country. This cold start primes the UK for more severe winter events, snow can settle, and the cold can deepen. It's not just about weather, it's a psychological shift reminding everyone to prepare for real winter. Expect beautiful winter sunshine, but little warmth. Frost and freezing fog will be common, especially in valleys. This is the foundation for whatever comes next. The stage is set for a potentially dramatic mid-January. The real danger zone is mid-January from the 10th to the 25th, 
By then the effects of a weakened polar vortex and blocking high could fully take hold. Atlantic air is shut out, and cold easterly winds may sweep in from Russia and Eastern Europe. These winds pick up moisture over the North Sea, creating heavy, persistent snow for Eastern Britain. Wind chills could make zero degrees feel like minus 10. Western areas may see less snow, but face severe frost and ice. Any Atlantic moisture could trigger battleground snow and freezing rain. This is the period when a cold spell could become a true freeze, disrupting daily life nationwide. As January ends, two scenarios emerge. If the blocking high holds, the UK could be locked into a deep freeze, with persistent cold and snow lasting into February. Rivers and canals could freeze, and snow would drift and harden. If the block weakens, the Atlantic returns, bringing milder air, but the transition could mean heavy snow, ice, and dangerous conditions. The clash between cold and mild can create hazardous weather before a full thaw. The fate of late January depends on the strength and position of these atmospheric giants. Will the freeze deepen, or will a messy thaw begin? Only time, and the atmosphere, will decide. Let's talk numbers. Average January highs are 6 out of 7 degrees in the south, 3 out of 5 degrees C in the north. This year, temperatures could be 5 to 8 degrees and below average for much of the month. Ice days, when temperatures stay below zero, may become common, even in major cities. Rural areas could see lows of 15 to 20 degrees C. Even southern England might hit 8 to 12 degrees at night. Wind chills will make it feel even colder, increasing health risks. This isn't a brief snap, it's a persistent, draining cold. The scale of the anomaly could redefine what cold means for a generation. The UK could face its most severe freeze in over a decade. Severe winter doesn't always mean endless snow. While headlines might focus on dramatic blizzards, the reality is often more subtle and persistent. The real threat is often ice and persistent cold, not constant blizzards. Slippery surfaces and treacherous pavements can cause more disruption than deep snow drifts. Sea effect snow from easterly winds can bring heavy localized snow to eastern coasts. These bursts can be intense, quickly transforming landscapes and catching people off guard. Elsewhere the air may be too dry for much snow, but frost and ice will linger. Even without fresh snowfall, surfaces can remain dangerously slick for days. When Atlantic fronts meet cold air, central and western areas could see heavy, disruptive, snow. These events are less frequent, but when they hit, travel and daily life can grind to a halt. Even a little snow can cause chaos when it freezes and persists. Black ice, nearly invisible, is especially hazardous for drivers and pedestrians alike. The danger is in the longevity of ice, not just snow depth. Days of sub-zero temperatures can turn minor snowfalls into lasting hazards. Expect short, sharp snow events, especially in the east, and widespread persistent ice. The pattern is unpredictable, with sudden changes and lingering risks. The impact will be magnified by the underlying cold. Prolonged low temperatures make recovery slow and daily routines more challenging. It's not snowmageddon. It's a winter of sharp shocks and lasting hazards. Staying alert and prepared is key to navigating the season safely. A winter like this disrupts every aspect of daily life. Roads and railways become treacherous. Even small amounts of ice or snow can paralyze transport. Airports face delays and cancellations as de-icing struggles to keep up. Energy demand surges, risking power outages. Water pipes can freeze and burst. Hospitals see more injuries and illnesses, schools may close, and the economy slows. Agriculture and wildlife suffer as the freeze deepens. Even simple tasks become major challenges. A severe winter tests our infrastructure, resilience, and community spirit. How can a deep freeze happen in a warming world? Arctic amplification means the Arctic is warming faster, weakening the jet stream and making it more prone to blocking patterns. This can trap cold air over the UK for longer. Melting Arctic sea ice releases heat and moisture, disrupting the polar vortex and increasing the risk of severe winters. Climate change isn't just about warming, it's about greater extremes and volatility. A severe winter is not a contradiction, but a symptom of a disrupted climate system. We're moving from predictable seasons to a world of atmospheric turmoil. Heat waves and deep freezes are now two sides of the same coin. Is a severe winter guaranteed? No, 
but the risk is much higher than usual. The key atmospheric signals are aligning for a prolonged cold spell, the potential for a major stratospheric warming, a weakened polar vortex, and a blocking high is greater than in years. Think of it as the dice being loaded toward a cold, disruptive outcome. A mild winter is still possible, but the odds have shifted. The risk of widespread disruption is real and should not be ignored. The question is not if it will be cold, but how cold, for how long, and how much snow. Certainty is impossible, but the evidence points to a challenging, memorable month. Preparation is key. The signals are clear, January 2026 could be a winter to remember. The convergence of global patterns means we must watch and prepare. This is a rare test of nature's power and our resilience. The coming weeks will reveal if these patterns solidify or shift. For now the risk is elevated and the potential for a truly memorable winter is undeniable. This is a winter you shouldn't ignore.